My daughter's a senior in high school, and if your child is anything like mine, that means she's crazy busy, always running around, and half the time I don't know where she is. So recently I asked her to set up a Google Calendar and to share all of her appointments and sports and everything with me. Um, what happened, though, is that she shared her calendar as an invite with me, and so I accepted all of these these meetings, um, and so she ends up getting a ton of responses back saying I accepted. And so you'll see here, like here's an example of one where it says, you know, accepted fake appointment. So when that floods your your inbox, it, it could just be overwhelming. So there is actually a way around that, and I just want to show that to you real quick. So when you open this appointment, you'll see down on the bottom that there's this little file called Invite ICS. That's the key to what we're going to work on right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here into Filter. And we're going to say that the message needs to have the word invite.ics. And what we are going to do is we're going to create a filter. And what we're going to do is we have a few options right here. I'm going to say delete it because honestly, she doesn't need to know that I've accepted all of her appointments. So all I have to do then is scroll down to the bottom and accept that I've created that filter. And now from now on, when those appointments come through, you just won't see them. So it goes straight to your deleted box and frees up your inbox. So this is a great tool if you're one of the people that's always sending out invitations and maybe you send it to a group of 10 and everybody's replying, yes, you know, here I'm going. You don't need that because honestly, all you have to do is go to your appointment and open it up and you'll see who's accepted and who hasn't. So save yourself the drama of all those emails, create a filter and delete those messages.